Meanwhile, tonight we are following some breaking news out of Carmel this evening where more drama is now unfolding in that scandal surrounding Carmel Mayor James Brainerd and City Treasurer Christine Pauley. The treasurer who accuses the mayor now of sexual harassment has come forward with some new allegations today. Our Steve Jefferson, who first broke this story, just finished interviewing Christine Pauley and joins us now live from her attorney's office. Steve? Yeah, uh, Andrea and Anne Marie, we just heard from Clerk Treasurer Christine Pauley about this new allegation she's making against Carmel Mayor James Brainerd. It centers around what she claims happened between the two of them in 2015 before she actually took office. Pauley was recently, uh, she recently went public, rather, with allegations against the mayor, accusing him of sexual harassment. The two of them won the 2016 election together. And since then, she claims she he has repeatedly tried to start a personal relationship with her. She shared emails with Eyewitness News that she claims was sent from the mayor, inviting her to travel with him. Mayor's spokesperson, Nancy Heck, denies any wrongdoing whatsoever by the mayor and says none of the allegations Christine Polly is making are true. But today, Christine Polly told Eyewitness News about a new allegation back in 2015 from a Christmas party where he allegedly touched her inappropriately. When I went out to my car, I went to put the key in the car and I went to turn around to ask the mayor, um, tell him thank you for walking me out. He proceeded to grab my backside, my, my bottom, and then he kissed me. And then I said, this, no, this just can't be happening. And I jumped in my car and, and I left. From my perspective, it, it seemed as if they both were um, pursuing a relationship to see if it might amount to anything. And I think many of us saw it as she wanted to just be where there were people of power. Again, Nancy Heck is defending the mayor, saying none of these allegations from Christine Polly are true. Now, we're told by Nancy Heck also that this is politically motivated. Brainerd is up for re-election again this year. Christine Polly, she told us she has decided to walk away from politics. Her attorney says there is more to come. That's because he says he has spoken to another elected official who will talk to the media next week and tell what she has witnessed between Brainerd and Christine Polly, and he calls it, he describes it as a bombshell. We'll continue to follow this investigation and bring you more coming up at 6 o'clock. Back to you in the studio. All right, Steve, the story obviously is far from over. More drama to come, including next week. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you later.